Welcome back everyone, Sweet Battle Scars here, and I am back with another unboxing video. Today we're gonna look at the Sculptures Big Budokai 5 Imperfect Cell figure by Van Presto. And uh, this is a very special figure, I, I'm very pleased with the fact that Van Presto released this because uh, you don't really see a lot of Imperfect Cell figures out there. Um, you mostly see Perfect Cell and you know, you know, pr yeah of course Perfect Cell in his uh, perfect form and uh, Bandai did some figures like that, uh, SH Figure Arts of course did uh, Perfect Cell but you never really see Imperfect Cell and of course this is the stage right before Perfect Cell so this is technically still Imperfect Cell. Um, so uh, as we saw in the anime and the manga so uh, very very happy that Ben Presto released this as uh, I'm, I'm, I'm overall very pleased with this series of figures because of course you don't really see a lot of Raditz, Nappa, Barda or Bardock figures or, or in Perfect Cell in this case so um, very pleased with the fact that Ben Presto did that and Ben Presto is really good about uh, bringing those characters you know into figure form those characters that you don't really see a lot of i mean you see your gokus your gohans your vegetas your piccolos your your trunks everywhere but you don't really see a lot of these characters uh in figure form like bardock napa raditz as i mentioned before so it's really awesome that bam presto took it upon themselves to uh release figures like this uh or statues i should say uh so i just gave you a quick look at the box uh you know, each side showcasing uh, uh, different aspects of, like uh, the figures on the series, the uh, the uh, the pairs that you can make, and of course uh, there's the Vegeta. There's Vegeta. Uh, there's the Vegeta figure that goes uh, hand in hand with this uh, imperfect cell. Uh, figure, but uh, of course I haven't gotten this figure. I don't know if I will as I mentioned in the video before uh, I'm still undecided on that figure. Uh, not really liking it too much I don't like the pose mainly the figure. I'm sure the figure is nice, but I, I just really don't like that pose which they would have uh, uh, Gone with a different pose, but that's just me Very personal my personal opinion You know others out there might really like that pose. So that's cool. Uh, anyway, let's get this figure out of the box. I think I've rambled on enough. Alright, here we go. And another uh, bulky, massive figure, just like uh, Raditz and uh, Nappa. Ooh, huge base. Let me show you that. That is a very big base. They weren't kidding when they said that these figures are pretty massive. Um, Wow, I don't even know how big this figure is, but uh, there you go, there, there's the torso, uh, just the torso itself, no head, uh, I guess it was too big to put in the same packaging. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna have to do some assembly with uh, this figure. Uh, we have the tail, torso and the tail, and uh, we have the head here, of course. Uh, there's the head. Here is the massive base. I don't know why this base is so big. It's a huge base. It's as big as my hand. Wow. Alright, and... Here are his legs. I guess uh, it's because his legs are are so wide. Uh, or So, yeah, so wide apart. That's probably why the base is so big so uh and cell is a tall character anyway he is uh, one of the tallest characters in the series so it would make sense that uh you know his leg span is uh, very long so uh here is, here are the legs very nice already looking very nice and uh, he's got uh, more of a paint job than other figures in this series uh you know he he had to they had to paint the green on his uh, like uh, exoskeleton, and of course all the little black spots had to be painted. That had to be painted there, uh, you know, in the crotch area. Uh, so lots, uh, you know, more of a paint job on this figure, which is nice to see because m most of these Ban Presto figures uh, really don't have much of a paint job. They do have paint on them, but only in little details. So uh, there's the torso and the uh, legs together. We have the tail. It goes in like so. You can get the right angle, which I just did. Nice. Very nice. There you go. You can't really see the seam. You can see it a little bit, but not too bad. And finally, 
uh, the head, which is, has this weird uh, peg on it. All right, I guess uh, that's the way it goes. Hope I got it at the right angle. I think I did. Yeah, that should be fine. There you go. So, uh, very, very nice figure. Uh, very bulky, very big. Um, of course, that's why we have the uh, big base here. It's, uh, yeah, it's definitely a big figure. One of the biggest uh, Bam Presto figures uh, I've seen. Uh, uh, you know, except I think the Ox King. The Ox King... The Ox King was a, a very big figure. Uh, this might be, of course, it's not as massive because it's not as bulky. It doesn't have that much uh, weight like on its torso and, and legs, but it's still a big figure. You know, Cell is a big figure or Cell makes a big figure. He is pretty tall. So uh, anyway, there is the face. The face looks kind of weird, I guess, because of uh, the position of his eyes. He's kind of looking up. Um, but very nice overall and very i'm very pleased with this cast and uh the paint job uh i know they try to minimize it but the paint job is nicely done very nice very nice indeed uh you guys can see there some of the uh black spots on his uh head here uh, that's part of a that are part of his exoskeleton we have paint on his face and his mouth and eyes and the rest of his exoskeleton, of course, has uh, all that paint on it. Uh, the orange part is, I can tell, is not paint. That's uh, pigmented plastic. Uh, very nice overall. You guys can see there that uh, some parts, like on his legs and on his uh, arms here, we have a little bit more of a paint job. Some, uh, you guys can see that there's a difference in color between those two areas there. I don't know if that was intentional or if... Uh, I don't know, it just came out that way, but uh, there is a difference in color between those two areas. You guys can really see it here on uh, his uh, shoulder and arm there. But uh, I really like this color here. I wish they would have uh, rendered all of his exoskeleton with this, uh, you know, lighter green here. A little more yellowy green, which uh, looks more, it looks a little more organic. Uh, it looks a little more, and uh, you know, natural, I guess. Uh, but... Aside from that, the pose, I'm really liking the pose. I like dynamic poses like this. So he's in a very, oops, dropped him. <laughs> Don't want to do that. Uh, he's very massive though, so he's not going to break. Um, so very dynamic pose. Uh, the cast is very clean as well. Very clean uh, surfaces here. As you guys can see that black re the reflecting the light here. Uh, very clean surfaces. Very nice all around. I I don't... Okay, here, we have a line here, but... Again, it's kind of hidden. It's not, you know, like very, it's not too apparent that there is a line there. So that could not that could have been a little, cleaned up a little better. But uh, I guess overall I'm not too uh, displeased with that. I, I think it's a very nice figure. Um, so there you go. I'm going to set it on the base here. Oh, you guys you hear that noise as... The pegs slide into place. Uh, it's a very snug fit. As you guys can hear, the uh, plastic kind of rubbing against each other. There we go. So, uh, yeah, he sits nicely on his base. Oh, his hand does touch the bottom of the base. So it's a very nice pose. I, re yeah, I really like this pose. Very, very good pose. Uh, very, very pleased with the post that they've uh, used for Imperfect Cell. And uh, yeah, I gotta tell you, this is uh, another reason that why I decided to buy this volume of uh, Band Presto figures. Very awesome post for Imperfect Cell. Very happy to have this in my collection now. Like I said, this is my first, I think, yeah, this is my first Imperfect Cell uh, figure. I do have the SH Figure Arts Perfect Cell. And I have uh, one of the old uh, Bandai... Uh, Imperfect, uh, perfect cell figures from like the 90s. So that's a, that's another nice figure as well. But, uh, first imperfect cell figure. Very nice. In my collection, of course. I don't think it's the first imperfect cell figure out there. I think there might be, uh, some that were released here in the States, uh, back when, uh, Dragon Ball Z was, was still airing on, uh, Cartoon Network, I believe. I think that's when I saw them. Um, anyway. I think his foot is coming off the base. So, yeah, you gotta just get him really in there and then he shouldn't 
he should stay on his base. Uh, so yeah, very, very pleased with this figure overall. And I think uh, that about does it for this unboxing video. Please comment, like, share and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. And stay tuned for the next unboxing video. I'll see you guys next time.